It's Flynn the Bowl Chef, and this evening I'm going to be putting together a very rustic, very Italian sauce for pasta. And we're going to be utilizing roasted cherry tomatoes, believe it or not. This is very popular over in Italy. And the sauce is very simple. There's not a lot of complexity to it, but it does take some time because it takes five hours to roast these cherry tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off show you how to prep up the uh, the ingredients for this uh, sauce and uh, I think once we're finished with this recipe you give it a try you'll find that it is uh, bordering on spectacular so let's get going as I had mentioned earlier we have preheated our oven bake 200 degrees we've got two 12 ounces of uh, containers of cherry tomatoes that we are going to wash off all of the uh, pesticides and dirt with a little bit of this alkaline water of course you can use regular water we want to make sure that these are thoroughly rinsed off we're going to take a little bit of time cleaning these uh, vegetables up to make sure that uh, we don't have any of the uh, chemicals or things that we don't want in our sauce we've got some basil we're going to wash that off and a little bit of uh, fresh oregano which we're going to do the uh, same too. So I'm going to finish cleaning up these vegetables and I'm going to show you how we're going to prep up these cherry tomatoes. Alright as you can see here we've got our uh, cherry tomatoes in our uh, nine by and uh, we're going to take some of this fresh oregano and just kind of spread that in here the flavor from this sauce is going to come from this herbs which we're going to put in in two different stages in this recipe and uh, I'm not going to even put any salt in here right now. We can, one of the beauties of this is it's a vegetarian recipe and we can adjust the amount of salt that we're going to use. We've uh, taken four uh, cloves of uh, garlic here and uh, Smash these down. I'm not even going to put a rough chop on these. I'm just going to put these in there like this. I'll ladle all of the garlic and kind of spread that out around there a little bit with this basil. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our extra virgin olive oil and uh, we're going to put in a liberal dose and like this. And we're going to take this around, make sure that our garlic that we put in here, and the oregano, and the basil, and everything's mixed up and infused in here nicely. And then we're going to pop this into the uh, oven for the uh, five hour roasting session. When we come back, we'll take a look at it, and I'll show you how we take this rustic Italian tomato sauce to the next level. All right, well, our uh, cherry tomatoes have been cooking here for quite some time. We're going to take out a little bit of this uh, oregano stems that have been cooking here. And uh, cherry tomatoes are just falling apart. The, the uh, basil looks real good. Just want to get these little stems out of here. And now what I'm going to do and I'm going to add some more fresh basil to this and some more fresh oregano without the stems on it. I'm going to mix this back in with our uh, cherry tomatoes. I'm just going to just kind of smash these down a little bit. And then we're going to put this back into the uh, oven here on 300. We're going to bring it up to 300 for about 10 minutes, just enough to cook our pasta. Now I normally use fresh egg pasta, but a friend of mine brought this pasta back from Italy. It's uh, from Naples. It is pasta, and forgive me if I pronounce this incorrectly, but it's pasta del uh, granado. It's apparently a very famous uh, uh, pasta brand over in Italy. I've never heard of it in the United States, but it, you can see here this is linguine and it's going to be probably about a 
foot and a half long or something. So it's going to be some pretty crazy pasta. It's going to take about 10 minutes to cook. I've got my water boiling. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to pop this back in the oven and we'll put this uh, tomato, grape, or cherry tomato uh, sauce together. And I think it's going to be really good. Whoops a daisy. Before I put this back in, I'm going to add one thing that's going to bring this up. I'm not going to put a lot of salt on here, but I'm going to use some of this Himalayan pink salt. Probably a, just about a teaspoon is all. You could, you could put about what you want on there. We'll stir that up. Kind of smash these uh, cherry tomatoes down a little bit with that garlic in there. But you're going to need some salt. So uh, we didn't do that. But now I'm going to put it back in the oven. I'm going to give this stuff a taste. This just looks too good. Yeah, that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This will be good. All right, we got this linguine cooked off al dente. Put this right into the uh, pot here. And now we're going to take our sauce. Or, okay, so I've taken the... Uh, pasta, cooked it off al dente, and I've taken the cherry tomato sauce that I've ladled over this. Taste of it is so sweet. I'm going to put on a little bit of uh, Parmigiana Asiago cheese onto this. I'm going to take some forks. I'm going to toss this around and uh, we'll serve this up here. I'm going to let this sit once I have the uh, Sauce infused here for uh, a few minutes. Let the uh, pasta soak up some of this flavor from this. We'll come back here. We're going to plate this up here in a minute and we'll see how it tastes. All right, it's Glenn the Ball Chef, and we've just put together this cherry tomato, rustic Italian tomato sauce. Taste of the sauce, it's unbelievable. Try this uh, artisan pasta. Ah, sweet, delicious. It's everything you could dream of in a pasta sauce and more. I thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. And as always, bon appetito.